Hello, Windows Universe. Michael with the Windows Club. Have you ever wondered what exactly a temporary file is and what it does? In this video, we will talk a little bit about the temporary file and what it is. We will also link an article in the description below for more information. In a nutshell, temporary files are created by the operating system during the course of its normal running. Software that uses large amounts of data like graphics, videos, or media editing can also create temporary files. These temporary files, more often than not, are left behind even after the task is over, leading to wasted disk space. Temporary files are even created for backup purposes. For instance, Microsoft Office saves a temporary file of the document that is open every few minutes. If Office crashes unexpectedly, it uses the temporary file to recover the data. The temporary file is supposed to be deleted once the file is saved and you exit, but this is not always the case. Like before, it leads to lost space. Temporary files are stored typically in two locations, the system temporary drive and the app data local temp. Now, if you try and access the Windows temporary file, you will most likely receive the error message that you do not have permission to access this file. Click continue and view the files. The app data temp file is created for each user and is a hidden folder. You'll have to unhide system folders from the folder options before you can see it. The difference between the two folders is that temporary files created by the Windows operating system are usually stored in the Windows temp folder while ones created by the user are stored in the app data temp file. If you're so inclined, you can change the location of the temp folder. Before you do so, I would recommend creating a system restore point to ensure that if there are any undesired results from these changes, you can restore your computer. Open the control panel. Go to system and security then go to system, click on advanced system settings. You then see a button that says environment variables. Click on it, edit the system and or user variables as you wish. However, it is never a good idea to combine the temporary files together for security reasons. To clean up your temporary files, access the Disk Cleanup utility and follow the prompts. Do you have questions about Windows and computers? Ask us in the comments below and maybe in a future video we will answer you those questions. Until then, find answers to countless Windows 10 questions at our website, thewindowsclub.com. If this video answered any of your questions, give us a thumbs up. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel where we are always uploading new content aimed at making your digital life a little bit easier. Thanks for watching and have a great day.